Hi, Kathy He, Realtor in Naples, Florida, and this is my YouTube channel where I pride myself as the source for the source for information on real estate. I have lived in Naples for over 13 years, and one question I often get asked is, what's it really like to live in Naples, Florida? Do I really love it here or hate it? Here are my personal pros and cons, and stay till the end as the last few pros will surely make you smile and a few cons that you will not believe. Number one pro, it's just a fabulous place to live. Naples is often considered and ranked as a top city to live in in the USA. Why? Naples is known for attracting a diverse population and affluent individuals. The city is renowned for its upscale lifestyle, luxurious real estate, high-end shopping, and world-class amenities. Many people are drawn to Naples for its beautiful weather. Golf courses are, there's so many golf cor courses, waterfront properties, and overall quality of life. All of these factors are making it a desirable destination for residents, investors, and for retirees. Are you next? Personally, I've had the luxury of living here year round, and we find ourselves not leaving or traveling during the winter. Why? Well, we used to travel to the Caribbean because it's so easy to hop on a plane and get there quickly. But why leave the top ranked city of Naples, Florida, when you feel like you're living in paradise? Number two, Naples, Florida is renowned for its beautiful beaches along the Gulf of Mexico. I love going to the beach and you will too. Some of my favorite beaches are along the Naples Pier and this expansive shoreline is called Vanderbilt Beach. It's great for relaxing, walking, and water activities, like paddleboarding. Delano Wiggins Pass is a state park, and that provides a more natural setting with mangrove-lined shoreline. But one thing is for sure, all of our beaches offer the most stunning sunsets. Oh, and don't forget to look for the green flash. Yes, the green flash happens at the very end of the sunset. It's considered a special and beautiful experience, but it's fairly rare to see it. Number three pro why I live here. What do people do with those beaches? Well, number three for me is shelling. Our beaches are great for shell collecting. Try looking for seashells early in the morning or during low tide when more shells are exposed. Popular locations for shell collecting include Delano Wiggins Pass State Park and Barefoot Beach Preserve. You can find a variety of shells and even some sand dollars. There are many boat excursions that will take you to some offshore islands that are covered with water during the high tide and offer the best shelling at low tide. Number four pro for living here is of course the weather. There's plenty of sunshine. The weather really is the best. You definitely need to wear those polarized sunglasses all the time here. Now, when I lived up north, it was often gray skies and the sun seemed really non-existent. We were contemplating moving to the Carolinas, but we really wanted warmer weather year round. And here, the weather is really like living in the tropics. Temperatures in the winter months from December to February, average high temperatures range from 75 to 77 or 24 to 25 Celsius with low humidity. And in the summer from June to September, averages high, well, they climb to around 90 to 92, 32 to 33 Celsius. Keep in mind that these are averages and the temperatures can vary. So in my opinion, the weather is just perfect year round. Yes, it's humid in the summer, but that's why you have air conditioning. The weather and sun equals true happiness for me. Number four, boating in Naples. Florida is a wonderful way to explore the coastal beauty of the area. You can cruise through the calm waters of the Gulf of Mexico or navigate the backwaters and the mangroves. Running a boat is easy. Or you can hire a captain to enjoy the scenic views. You'll often see wildlife like dolphins or manatees. We belong to a boat club and often go boating to Key Waden or to Fort Myers for lunch. We have the option of renting pontoon boats or center consoles, and there's nothing better than enjoying the Gulf of Mexico by water. Other ways to enjoy the water is to take a scenic cruise 
on the Naples Princess, Pure Naples, or the Sweet Liberty. They offer a beautiful sunset cruise that I often take my customers on. So book your flight and come on down and I'll be sure to take you on as well. I did a video on Pure Naples. Be sure to watch it. It takes you through the canals of Port Royal, which then you can view the multi-millionaire homes. Just beautiful. Whether it's a leisurely cruise, kayaking, fishing, or an adventurous day out on the water, Naples offers a fantastic boating experience. Number five, speaking of fishing, do you like to fish? Naples offers fantastic fishing, both inshore and offshore. Inshore, you can explore the backwaters and mangroves for species like snook, redfish, and tarpon. Naples Pier is also a popular spot for fishing and, of course, enjoying the view along the beach. For offshore fishing, the Gulf of Mexico provides opportunities to catch grouper, snapper, and various other fish. You might want to consider hiring a local charter for a guided fishing experience, as they really can provide you with all the equipment, expertise, and those secret spots of where the best fish are hiding. Fishing in Naples is a rewarding experience with diverse marine life and beautiful surroundings. Number six, Naples, Florida offers a variety of outdoor sports. And given its sunny climate and beautiful surroundings, golf enthusiasts, can enjoy numerous golf courses in this area. Water sports like paddleboarding, kayaking, jet skiing are very popular in the Gulf or backwaters. You can also explore cycling trails, running or walking. Many communities offer hard true tennis courts or perhaps try the very popular paddle ball or bocce ball. Naples provides a diverse range of outdoor activities really making it an ideal destination for those who enjoy an active and sun-filled outdoor lifestyle. Number seven, upscale living. Naples attracts those who appreciate an upscale lifestyle with high-end dining options like Sales or Ocean Prime on Fifth Avenue and exclusive shopping experiences at the waterside shops, rich cultural events at the Artist Theater and recreational amenities at the Paradise Coast Sports and Entertainment Center. The city has many art galleries, the Baker Museum or the Revs Institute, which is a car museum you do not want to miss if you are a car enthusiast. Let's not forget about the parks like Baker Park, Cambier Park, and the very fun Naples Zoo. There's a strong sense of community in Naples with various events, festivals, and social gatherings that bring residents together, like Cars on Fifth, the annual Christmas tree lighting, and the Christmas and St. Patty's Day Parade. There's so much fun for kids young and old. And we even have an exclusive children's benefit called the Naples Winter Wine Festival. Naples has a lot going on. Come on down and see for yourself. Number eight, number eight. It's also known for its well-maintained streets. The city takes pride in its aesthetic appeal and you'll often find streets lined with palm trees and various flowering plants. The city's really committed to maintaining a clean and visually appealing environment, which really contributes to the overall charm of Naples. You rarely see any garbage on the streets just palm trees and flowering plants. It's just really gorgeous. When you come visit, I know you will agree with me. Number nine, retirement destination. Yes, Naples is a popular destination for retirees due to its relaxed atmosphere, excellent healthcare facilities, and numerous retirement communities. And basically, it's a retirement mecca because of everything I just mentioned. Number 10 is, of course, no state income tax, just federal taxes. The property taxes at my house are drastically lower now than when we lived in Vermont. No state income tax is definitely an attractive feature for residents. And property taxes tend to be lower than in many northern states. Florida relies more on property taxes and sales taxes for revenue. Property tax rates can vary 
within Florida, and the specific amount you pay depends on factors like the assessed value of your property and any applicable exemptions. One exemption in Florida is the homestead exemption, which is a valuable benefit for homeowners, which can result in a reduction of the property's assessed value for tax purposes. You must apply and it's not automatically granted. Eligibility criteria, application processes, and exemption amounts may be subject to change. So it's advisable to check with the local property appraiser's office or a tax professional for the most up-to-date information. Number 11 is the mystery one you've been waiting for. Yes, I've talked about how upscale this is to live here. However, for men and women, you can wear shorts in almost every restaurant for dinner. Yes, and the men love it. Only some country clubs and a few restaurants require slacks and rarely a tie or a jacket for men. And men love this too. Women, of course, wear anything they want to dinner. And they seem to always just look fabuloso. Fabulous, fabulous. Number 12, I know you've been waiting for this last reason why I love living in Naples. No skunks. Yep, I hate the smell of a skunk. I I hate when a dog gets sprayed by a skunk. It's horrible. Well, guess what? I've never seen a skunk or smelled one here in Naples. And that, my friend, is an awesome reason in itself to move to Naples. Okay, so that's my top 12 reasons why I love living in Naples. Now, let's get to the cons. And if you like what you're hearing, be sure to subscribe to my channel as I do weekly videos on more topics that I'm sure you will enjoy. Number one, sunburns. Yep, they're here for sure. That lobster look after too much sun is not very attractive. Sunbathing, soaking up the rays, and getting tanned on our beautiful sandy beaches at your pool is a must. And whether you choose the popular Naples Pier, Vanderbilt Beach, or any other coastal spot around your, around your boat, you'll find plenty of space to lay out your towel or relax in your Tommy Bahama chair. Oh, I forgot. You're going to need a beach chair. It's the first thing you're going to need to buy when you move or visit here. Just remember to use plenty of sunscreen to protect your skin from that beautiful, hot Florida sun. And enjoy the warm temperatures and gentle sea breeze as you unwind by the Gulf of Mexico. Also, wear a wide-brimmed hat or a visor on the golf course. Yes, the sun is why we move here, but it can do much harm quickly. So when you're swimming in the Gulf, reapply often. Sunburns are just nasty and they make your vacation miserable. Be sure to use our abundant aloe from our aloe plants to help your sunburn. It really does help them heal. Be careful. You may think, nah, I don't need sunscreen. I don't need to reapply. But again, that sun is hot and the sunburns are not fun for kids of any ages. Oh, and wear those sunglasses too. Number two, yes, hurricanes. Hurricanes are not our friends. If you don't like hurricanes, and really, who does? Don't visit here in the summer months. And if you live here, make sure you protect your properties prior to leaving. As they say, button up your home prior to leaving for your summer home or for your vacation up north. Many homes in Florida are built with updated building codes, which do require higher elevations. And many roofs are made out of tile and not shingles. And there are many other ways to protect your homes. When I'm working with a buyer like yourself, I make sure to review the seller's property disclosure, which will help a buyer understand the condition of the home that you're considering to purchase. For example, we look at the age of the roof. If it has hurricane-proof windows and doors, again, that elevation of the home. If it's in a flood zone, the age of the AC and the hot water heater. And if the home requires or has flood insurance. Again, we don't like hurricane season, but I've been through two of them and I still love living in Naples. You just need to be prepared and stay informed. I always have an emergency kit. I know how to secure my home and I have an evacuation plan. I hope and pray we don't have another one, but 
I have taken the proactive precautions to secure my family and my property if one does occur. Number three, bugs. Yes, in Florida, like many other places with a subtropical climate, you can expect a variety of insects. And there are three that are my least favorite. So if you don't like bugs, if they are attracted to you, be prepared. Okay, we have these things called no They hang out in the mangroves near water. And recently, my husband was at a beach restaurant and he felt something biting his ankles. He did not have any bug spray. And that night, his ankles had about 10 bites on each. These bites hurt and they're nasty. They are not my friends. We also have these tiny little ghost ants, normally in my kitchen or near in the sinks in the bathrooms. They march in a line and they like water and sweet stuff. It's really easy to get rid of them with ant traps. So, you know, they're manageable. However, the bug I despise the most is the dreaded palmetto bug, which is the fancy way we say it down here, or cockroach. They are gross. They are fast and they are smart. They actually know how to play dead too. When I first moved here, I had one in my bathroom sink. They like water too. And well, I drowned it. And then guess what? It came back up the drain. And then I had to suck it up with the vacuum. Well, with proper pest control services inside and outside of your home, these insects can be managed easily. So if you don't like bugs, don't worry. There are always ways to manage them. Number four. Naples, Florida is a home to a diverse range of wildlife. Thanks to its coastal location and subtropical climate, common animals in this area include birds. Why are birds on my list? Well, Naples has a haven for bird watchers, which are pros for living here, like the shorelines, the, the species along the shorelines. My favorite is the sandpiper. They have these little short legs and they can be seen running so fast along the beach. We have pelicans, egrets, herons, ospreys. They're spotted like everywhere, and even some eagles. However, watch out for that dreaded seagull at the beach. Yeah, I know they're at other beaches, but one time I was eating a sandwich and some kids were throwing food to feed the seagulls, and I'm eating my sandwich, and one flew down like this and took my sandwich right out of my hand. Couldn't believe it. If you don't like seagulls, maybe you don't want to be eating a sandwich like me on the beach. But of course, I still do eat and drink on the beach. Anyways, number five, reptiles. Yes, we have reptiles here. Iguanas, turtles, snakes, geckos. Geckos are common in Naples, Florida. These small lizards, they kind of like chirp a little bit and they can be found everywhere. They sneak in under your lanai. But geckos are beneficial as they help control mosquitoes. Now snakes, well, those black snakes, they're okay. You'll see them around, really around your garden. There are also corn snakes that eat palm rats. Yes, I said rats, we have some rats because we have so many fruit trees. Anyhow, if you don't like snakes, well, we have them and just watch out for them. Watch out for them on the golf course too. Did I mention alligators? Ah, number six. Number six, the dreaded alligators. Yes, they are real and they live here. Well, while you're enjoying your outdoor activities, it's really very important to observe alligators from a safe distance and respect their habitats, especially while you're golfing. Be extremely cautious. If your ball goes into that water, leave it there or you may go home with something less than a few vols. And keep your pets on leashes and keep children away from these areas. It's essential to be aware of the potential presence of alligators. On a positive note, Naples Zoo has a wonderful display of alligators. And that's really where I like to go and see them the best and not up close and personal. Number seven, bears. Yes, we have them. While Florida is home to black bears, bears are not commonly found in the Naples area. They're usually more prevalent in central and northern Florida, particularly in forested and rural areas. But Naples being located in southwest part 
of the state. Again, it's not a typical habitat for black bears, although we have had quite a bit of new construction. And the bears are then forced out of their homes. We actually had a bear walking down the streets in Mercado one year. I couldn't believe it. Of course, it was safely captured and returned to a better location. Number eight, traffic. Yes, traffic can be very busy. Well, with the pandemic and more people working from home and the baby boomers retiring, we have experienced a huge population growth and our road systems have undergone improvements to accommodate the increased number of residents. However, like many growing areas, challenges such as traffic congestion can still arise, particularly during peak seasons. Two roads that are heavily traveled are Tamiami Trail, also known as Route 41, is a significant road running through Naples. Immokalee Road is another important roadway. That also gets very busy, especially in season. My suggestion is just to avoid them in early morning and later in the afternoon, because that's when it's most likely to be the busiest. Oh, and one more thing. We don't really use our horns. Beep, beep, no. Only to remind a driver if the light is green and they're talking on their cell phone, which I really do. Um, so you give a little toot and that just a nice way to say, move on. Number nine, yes, it's expensive to live here. Remember, Naples is known for being an affluent community, attracting a mix of residents, including retirees, professionals, and seasonal visitors. The cost of living, real estate prices, and overall lifestyle in Naples can be relatively high compared to other areas. Many residents in Naples have higher incomes, and the city is a popular destination for those seeking an upscale and leisurely lifestyle. However, it's important to note that the population is diverse. And while there is a concentration of wealth here, there are also individuals and families with various income levels living in the Naples area. And one thing for sure is that rent, renting can be very relatively expensive. Rental prices can vary based on factors such as location, property size, and amenities. Generally, you may find higher rental costs compared to many other places, especially in the sought after neighborhoods or waterfront communities. Number 10, insurance rates in Naples have gone crazy. Florida is susceptible to natural disasters like hurricanes, which we just talked about. And therefore, homeowners insurance in particular may be influenced by the risk of hurricanes and flooding in this region. It's advisable to shop around for insurance and compare quotes and consider factors such as the type of coverage and deductibles when assessing insurance rates. Additionally, taking measures to protect your property, such as installing storm shutters or impact resistant windows and doors may help lower your insurance premiums. And of course, the age of the roof can be a huge factor in getting a better insurance policy. Keep in mind that insurance rates can vary. So it's recommended to consult with a local insurance representative who can provide you with an accurate quote and get the best coverage and rates based upon your personal needs. Number 11. If you don't like having to make reservations for dinner when you want to eat out, then Naples is not for you during season. During the peak season in Naples, which is typically from late fall to early spring, it is a must to make reservations for most restaurants. The increase of visitors during this time lead to a higher demand for dining options. And reservations help ensure you have a spot at your desired restaurant. Making reservations allows you to plan your dining experience more smoothly and ensures you won't face long wait times, especially at those special restaurants on 5th and 3rd. Just download a popular reservation app like Open Table or call the restaurant directly and then you're good to go. Number 12, 
Are you a golfer or want to be a golfer? If you are not a member at a golf course, then your golfing days are limited. Why? Naples has a limited number of public courses. So if you want to play two, three times a week, you really need to join a club. And even the public courses, they can be expensive to play there during season and even to get a tee time there. So golf is so popular right now. Some country clubs have a wait list that are extremely long, but I love golf and Naples is truly a golf mecca with a plethora of courses. So if golf is your thing, then be sure to search for a property with a professional realtor like me and I will help you find a property on a golf course and I will share with you all of the membership options. I hope you've enjoyed my pros and cons of living here and if you liked what you heard, please like this video, subscribe to my channel. This is Kathy He, realtor in beautiful Naples, Florida. And you can always preview my listings at kathyhee.com. Thank you for your time and enjoy today.